for my pyramid. I'm just going to work in the space up here. I'm going to start with a triangle for the front. Again, remember when you draw this for your final, make sure to use a ruler. So I like my shape. I'm going to erase and go back over my pencil lines. Then for the side, I'm going to draw a line that's angled. I'm going to connect the two with a diagonal line. So here's my pyramid. Now remember, my light source is to the right. So for this pyramid, same thing that we've talked about oops, before. Um, it has a very defined side, so it has some very crisp edges. So one side's definitely going to be lighter and one side is definitely going to be darker. The side closest to the light will be lighter. The side opposite the light source will be darker. Cast shadow you can see is kind of a distorted triangle shape that stretches out from the base. So for the pyramid, I'm going to take a moment and just mark where my reflection is going to be. It's right along here. Then I'm going to grab my ebony I'm going to start shading this side, pressing pretty hard to get some nice dark values. Going right up next to that reflection. Now remember, follow the shape of your object, so follow the contour, keeping it darkest, kind of this L-shaped angle. And starting to lighten my pressure. I'm actually going to switch to 4B. And I'm going to bring this 4B value all the way up to that line. Now to help me be precise, I switch my grip. So that way I can really show that edge. And then I switch back. And again, I use my pencil to build up some of those layers. Make that side nice and dark. Then for my light side, again, I'm going to take my eraser, erase so my lines are light. I'm going to use my 2H. I'm going to use that to define that side of my object. Now if you're seeing a highlight, remember you can leave it white or you can come in with your eraser. And leave a little bit of white showing there. Um, so now I need to show my cast shadow. So I'm just going to grab one of my pencils. And like uh, we talked about, the cast shadow stretches out from the base and it goes opposite. And it'll come from the upper part. And it's stretching out opposite. It might go off your paper and that's okay. It goes opposite your object or your light source. Okay, and then next, I'm going to take my ebony, shade right under the object there, right next to the object, giving me my darkest cast shadows, and I'm going to start to lighten my pressure to give me dark to midtones. And then to my lightest values. So there's my cast shadow. I'm going to go ahead and grab my blender. And I'll blend my values. Again, working very lightly. Really watching the edge there. careful about what part of the blender I'm using here for my lightest. Leaving a little bit of that highlight showing. Then blending my cast shadow. Whoops. And go outside the edge a little bit and make it nice and soft. If you lose your shape, you can always kind of Touch it up, come back in with your blender. Okay. 
And there's my pyramid.